That's good. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, welcome everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you and uh, happy Father's Day. Amen. Feliz Domingo por la mañana y feliz día de los padres. Amen. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. If you don't have a church, come join us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Woo! New Beginnings Church, a church you can call home and we where we honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. So welcome NBC family, visitors, and all those who be joining us by audio and video. Bienvenidos yes. a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. Amen. And you need to do something. What do I do? Well, I gotta prepare myself to receive. Amen. If you just receive it from Brother Joe or Pastor Joe, you ain't gonna receive nothing. But if you receive from what God has to speak through me, you're gonna receive something. Amen. Amen. So Amen. praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct you. Yes, That's what a, a father does, you know. So praise God. Que nos bendice, nos da ánimo, eh, nos cambia y nos corrige. Amen. So Amen. praise God. And today's message is just plain and simple. And we won't keep you long, okay? So Amen. don't tune out. <laughs> tune in. <laughs> yeah. We want you to tune in. God's not finished with you. He's got great plans for you. None of them include defeat. He uh, make yourself available to him. Amen. Because you are vital to him. You're important Amen. to him. Amen. Amen. So yeah. praise God. He, you can do all things through him. So we're just going to be talking about Happy Father's Day 2022. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. So prepare yourselves. And before we get all started up, grab your Bible, grab your sword, soldier of God. Yes. Amen. And let's say it like we mean it. Amen. Amen. Let's make this declaration together. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. And you know what? You're not going to be the same. You're going to moving from glory to glory, from victory Amen. to victory, in Jesus' name. Amen? Yes. You, so you have a vital part to do about this. Amen? Yes. So happy Father's Day. We have a few slides for you. There we go. I still draw like this, okay? I'm just take people. <laughs> That's not my gift, okay? So what? Happy Father's Day. Keep going. <laughs> Feliz Día del Padre. Que el Señor te bendiga y te guarde. Número 624. Amen. Keep going. Number yes. And this is going to be our text. Mm. John 3, 16. Amen. Let me finish reading here what I have here. Thank you, Father, for giving us our earthly fathers. Amen. Yes. And uh, to our fathers watching, listening, those that are still living, those that are in heaven. We want to say, Happy Father's Day. Feliz Dia del Padre. Amen. And we want to let you know we love you, we honor you, we thank you, and we miss you. Mine's been gone for quite a while. Amen. But I still say, Happy Father's Day, Dad. I'm here because of him. Yes. So praise God. Amen. <clears throat> your father knows your father God loves you. How much does he love you? Mm. Well, he sent Jesus. John yeah. 3, 16 is our text. Yeah. And let me read it to you this way. Amen. For God, let me see. Here it says, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And that's what we want. We want everlasting life Amen. with him. Amen. I wrote it this way. For God, for Father God. Amen. Father God so loved the world. We're talking about us, people, the yes. world. Okay. He's talking about world. He loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting <laughs> life. So the choice is yours. You need to decide if you haven't decided yet to have a heavenly father. We all have a physical father, an earthly yeah. father, but we need a heavenly father. Amen. Amen. So he cares so much about you. He sacrificed his own son. Amen. And Jesus was willing to just give himself to be sacrificed. Amen. Amen. He says, Dad, I'll do what you want me to do. And he fulfilled his mission. Amen. Yes. So praise God. <laughs> Amen. But he says, for God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. For Heavenly Father so loved us, the world, that he gave his only begotten oh, son. Yes. You never read it that way? Well, it's time you read it that way. For God so loved the world. Amen. That's us. Amen. Keep going, Carter. Here we go. Got a view for you this way this morning. <coughs> Happy Father's Day. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you Amen. and be gracious to you. The Amen. Lord uh, 
lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Number 6, 24 through 26. Amen. Write these down so you can go and check them out yourself. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. And here's another one. Happy Father's Day. Trust in the Lord with some of your heart. Oh. <laughs> with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. That's, we want to do this. You know, if you're not in the spirit, you're in the flesh. And we want to lean towards the flesh. But it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. With all of your spirit, man. Amen. And lean on your, your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Yeah. And He will direct your path. Welcome back. Good to see you. God bless you. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Mark these down. Amen. I had somebody sitting uh, in a congregation and took pictures of these. Amen. You can take pictures if you want to. Amen. Here's, here's another one. Just as the Father has compassion on His children, so the Lord has compassion on on those who fear him psalms 103 13 i'm going to read it to you from different translations but you go check these out amen and i told you this just about every time i get up here but we need to see people <laughs> through his through jesus's eyes amen and you see him with love and compassion you know and uh you see the sin well you love the sinner yeah. But you hate the sin. Yes. Okay, the sin is no bueno, not good, okay? But the sinner, for God so loved the world that he gave, he sacrificed Jesus. So Jesus gave his life for yes. all of us, amen? Every one of us. I don't care yes. what color you are, but all of us, amen? Yes. And he, he died for souls, right. not for skins, yes, <laughs> not for colors, or different denominations or people. Amen. We got to get this right, amen? Yes. God loved everybody yes. and he died for all of us and we make uh, we, we, did, we try to decide who we want in our little group yeah. you know God already made that decision for God so loved yeah. the world you know what's in the world all kinds of people oh, all yeah. colors oh, amen yeah. all of us and if you promise with that you better get it right amen. <laughs> you better get it right and see him through his eyes see him with his love and his compassion that way you're getting self out of the way. Uh -huh. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Amen. Come on now. Yeah. So anyway, let me read it to you from these other translations. The NIV, uh, New International Version says, As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. And we yes. want to find out what fear stands here, okay? Oh, gosh. In the Amplified, he says, uh, Psalms 100, uh, verse 13, Amplified. Just as the Father loves his children, so the Lord loves those that fear and worship him with awe, filled, respected, and deepest reverence. Did you Amen. Say Psalm 100? Yeah, Psalms 103. Oh, 103. Okay. Psalms 103, verses, uh, verse uh, 13. Okay. So we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving us and for yes. sending Jesus. And Amen. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for coming and completing your mission. Yes. You know how you completed this mission? Uh -huh, uh -huh. He was crucified. Yes, he was. Yes. And they tried to kill him so bad, mm -hmm. but they couldn't kill him That's it. until he surrendered himself to the Father. Right. And before he surrendered himself to the Father, he says, yeah. Father, forgive them. Forgive us. That was his mission. When he completed it, well, his mission, he was finished. He, mm -hmm. he went to the hill and took the keys mm -hmm. back from the enemy, from the devil. Amen. Yes. But before he said his last few words, he says, forgive them. So we need to learn how to forgive. Amen. So, because our flesh gets in the way. Yes, and our is. flesh wants to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes. <laughs> so we've got to put the flesh yes. under. Amen. So let's remember this now. we got to yes. keep the flesh down. Remember yes. where it's tried being. Spirit, soul, and body. Spirit, you feed the word of God. The soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions. Yes. Amen. You renew with the word of God. Yes. Amen. And your, 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 your flesh, <laughs> you crucify it because the flesh just wants to be comfy. Oh, the flesh yeah. just wants to have its way. Yeah. The flesh wants to do nothing mm -hmm. that really wants to do nothing. That's it. So we need to crucify the flesh. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and um, I'll read this to you anyway, but Exodus 20 and 12. In Exodus, you know the Old Testament? <laughs> yes. 20 and 12 says this in the New King James. It's a fifth commandment. And we have it up here. It says, honor what? Your father. your father and your mother. 
that your days may be long, long upon the land which the Lord your yes. God gives you. Amen. So we want to live long. Guess what? Mm. We got to honor our father and our mother. But you don't know what they did. Mm. It's okay. This is not a suggestion. Yes. It is a command from our yes. Heavenly Father. Yes. Okay? It says commandment. Uh -huh. Amen? I was military for 20 plus years. You know what? And they had a lot of commands. And <laughs> I don't just didn't say, well, I don't want to feel like doing it that today. No. <laughs> you got to command. You get. You got to do it. You got to basically obey. Yes. Amen? You have to obey it. Let me see how I wrote it here. Honor your father and mother that your days may be long yes. upon the land which the Lord your God has given you. Yes. Amen. So we need to honor this. We need to remember this. And it's got a five over there. So it's yes. commandment number five. Keep going. <clears throat> here it talks about in Deuteronomy. Honor your, thy father and thy mother as the Lord has, as the Lord thy God has commanded mm -hmm. thee. That's you, yes. you. You put your name in, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> that thy days may be, be prolonged, yes. and that which it may go yes. well with thee in the land which the Lord thy God has given thee. Yes. Okay. So yeah. once again, these are not suggestions. These yeah. are commands from God, yeah. and it says, "Obey, yeah. obey." Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We are to obey yeah. these. Amen. Yeah. Not to just uh, put them aside. Yeah. Well, but you don't know. Yeah, but you don't know. You need to get this right. And you need to do what he tells us to do. If you want to live long. Amen. If you want to live long. If you don't want to live long, well, that's up to you. But I want to live long. Amen. Ephesians 6, 1 through 3. Here. It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Yes. And number two says, honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment uh -huh. with the promise. Yeah. Now, this is a command with a promise. Yes, is. What does the promise say? The promise mm -hmm. says that it may be well with you yes. and you may live long, long on earth. Yes. How long you want to stay? Oh. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody says, well, the Lord wants to do this. Lord yeah. wants to take me. Lord wants yeah. to. We're blaming it on him. Mm -hmm. No, it's up to us. You mean he put you here so you could be busy for him doing yeah. things for him we are the church we are the body of christ nobody ever told you that <laughs> we are to be busy about the father's business right. just going to all the yes. world amen, amen. Yes. and preach the gospel amen. lay hands on the sick cast out devils mm -hmm. we're supposed to be doing this is the church yes. not just the pastor mm -hmm. there's a uh a five-fold ministry there a past, uh, apostle prophet evangelist pastor teacher yes. but he's also called every one of us Yes. Amen. And we are in the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. So include yourself. Don't exclude yourself. We Absolutely. always want to stay back. We always uh -huh. want to lay down. You know, yeah. no. It's time to get busy for God. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I wrote it any different here. Um, and this is the promise that all may go well with you and you will have a long life on earth. And I wrote here, your choice. You mm -hmm. have a choice. <laughs> you can go up or you can go down but it's your, it's your choice you want to go to heaven or you want to go to hell still mm. well, I say well I'm neutral I'm not going to say anything I'm not going <laughs> to well if you say those things you're still going down yeah. <laughs> you're going down you have to declare with your mouth confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead you shall be saved Say. amen when you confess with your mouth mm -hmm. him as your Lord and Savior yeah. You can have eternal life. Yes. But you have to say it with your mouth. Yes. Where well, my wife said it for me. No. Uh, my friend said it for me. Uh, no. So and so said it for me. No, you have to say it with your mouth. Yes. Yes. If you don't say it with your mouth, they ain't going to cover you. They ain't going to stand They ain't gonna stand face to face with him when you meet with him. There ain't going to be no other friends around you except you and him. Mm -hmm. Now you got to explain to him and say, why didn't you accept me? Why didn't you receive me? I'd rather him say, welcome home, yeah. good and faithful servant, instead of saying, depart from me. Yes. I never knew you. Right, right, right. Amen. And you know what? When you receive him as your Lord and Savior, automatically, he is your heavenly father. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I have an earthly father, but I also have a heavenly father. Yes. And when I get to heaven, my heavenly father is going to meet me. Amen. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, praise God. <laughs> We celebrate Father's Day once a year. God has given each one of us a father. None of our fathers are perfect. 
even the best fathers have a few flaws. <laughs> yeah. A few flaws, a few imperfections. They make a few mistakes. They have a few weaknesses. They do a little failing. And they have a few shortcomings. <laughs> Father's Day, we focus. Let's focus on the good and not the bad. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Good yes. teachings, good times, good memories. Yes. That's good. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, as fathers, remember, fathers and mothers, of course, we already celebrated Mother's Day, but Proverbs 22 and 6. Yeah. Know, Proverbs 22 and 6 says this Train your children. I wrote it this way. Mm -hmm. Train your children, mother and father, yes. in the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. Yeah, yeah. So, mother and father, we have a, 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 a job to do. Amen. Yeah. We have some teaching to do. Yes, we do. Here we go. Happy Father's Day. Direct your children in the right path. And when they are old, they will not leave it. That's it. Proverbs. So, go to Proverbs mm -hmm. chapter 22 and 6. 22 and 6. Amen. I didn't give you one that says about... Discipline your children. <laughs> they won't, you, it won't die. <laughs> it's okay to lay hands on them. <laughs> we don't go there yet. <laughs> but, listen, we we just release them. We want the world. We want the babysitters. We want the schools and everybody else to, to, to teach them. And then we come home and act like little heathens. And we try to kill them. You know? It says says train up a train child up. mother and father mm -hmm. the way they should go it yes. starts at home yeah as mother and fathers we need yes. to know yeah. what the word of god says he's putting that responsibility on us yes yes amen not to pass it to somebody else amen, amen. so it starts at home yes it does <laughs> when he is old he would not depart from us so father says jesus teach us to forgive and forget john three sixteen, of course on the cross, Jesus told the Father. He, he told the Father, forgive him. Yeah. He could have said, hey, forget this. Mm. He could have just, any time, just give it up and say, mm -hmm. forget this. You know, they're not worth dying for. Mm. Just remember that. You think you've gone through some things. Mm. Look what Jesus went through. Yeah. And still, at the end, he says, Father, yeah. forgive him. Forgive him. Hmm? That's what it. about you? Well, you, you know, Jesus didn't go through this. He went through the worst things. Mm. Not even we we not even close to what he went oh, through. Yeah. Amen. So keep going. One of them says, "Well, first first John one nine says, if we confess with our sins with excuse me, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and he cleanses us from what oh. all of righteousness." Oh. Listen, every time you go, he's going to forgive you. Yeah. You confess it to him. Don't hold it in you. Confess it to him, and he's going to forgive you. Yes. But you know, somebody does you wrong, and you want to hold it forever. For ever. Forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Even though it's affecting you physically, it's affecting you in yeah. different ways, but still, we ain't giving up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold it and hold it oh, and hold boy. it. And he says, cast all cares on me. Yes, yes. Forgive sin. Yes. But we're not doing it. Mm -hmm. We're being disobedient. Yes. We need to remember if Jesus can forgive us, mm -hmm. why can we forgive? Right. He says, if you forgive, I forgive. Yes. If you forget, I'll forget. Mm -hmm. But we say, man, no, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. And we try to hold on to it, you know. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make you suffer. <laughs> 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 Keep going, Carl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, just leave it right there. Matthew 6, 14 and 15 says in the NIV, for if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sins, mm -hmm. your Father will not forgive your sins. You notice it says, your Father, mm -hmm. your heavenly Father. Yeah, yeah. So, when you confess Him as your Lord and Savior, He becomes your heavenly Father. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? So, I've said this before and it just keeps coming up. When you when you sin, you're not perfect. Mm -hmm. So if you're born again and you sin, mm -hmm. you go to him and you confess it yes. and you'll forgive and forget. Right. What I want you to know and learn from this is every time you sin, you don't fall out of grace. That's it. You don't fall out and as he says, you know, mm -hmm. go and get saved again. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. No, he's still your heavenly father. Yes, he is. Amen. And he calls you his children. Yes. yes. So you're not a sinner anymore. You have a heavenly father. Mm -hmm. We're his. If he's my father, I'm his child. Yes. Let's get this right. We don't fall out of grace. We don't fall and leave us. We just need to get the sin out. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. We got to get the sin. Agree. We got to confess the sin. Yes. The people that are lost, okay, they are different. Uh -huh. <laughs> they haven't confessed them as Lord and Savior. So they're still sinners. Mm. But I'm uh, a child of God. Yes. He's my Heavenly Father. Mm. So I fall out of, I, I, I sin, so now I need to confess it so I can get right with Him. And He says, get up, go, continue. Mm. Go do what I've called you to do. Yes. That's my Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. Matthew, and that, was, that was in Matthew 6, uh, 14, 15. Matthew 18, 21 and 22 says, Be ready to forgive <laughs> over and over. <laughs> now Peter came to Jesus and asked him, How many times yes. shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Oh, Up to seven uh, times. Jesus says, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy seven times. Seven times. Meaning over and over and over. They're going to get it one day. <laughs> you just got to forgive them. If yeah. God can forgive, so can we. Yes, if Jesus can forgive, so can we. Absolutely. We just got to get this right. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. don't hold it against them. 490 times. Oh, 490 times. Man, that's right. over and over and over and over. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> They'll get it. Mm -hmm. Now I have it here, First uh, John 1 9. Confess and God will forgive your sins yes we already talked about that but it says if we confess mm -hmm. i said if i confess because mm -hmm. i'm gonna say it for me yeah <laughs> okay i'm saying it for we yes. for we are listening but yeah. if i confess my sins mm -hmm. he is faithful and just to forgive me of my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness yeah. we gotta get it right we gotta get it out of us you know damn yeah. if your house is dirty your your car is dirty your body's dirty. You're going to clean it. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if my spirit is is, is dirty, so I, I need to clean it up. I need to confess it and get it out of me. Yes. I don't want it in me. Amen. And I got to read, uh, excuse me, uh, spirit, confess it to him. Mm -hmm. uh, mind, renew it with the word of God. Yes. So I can be strong. Yes. And this is what the Word of God says. Yeah. Say amen. So, but I got to do something. I got to renew my mind yeah. with the Word of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I won't be falling in those things yeah. all the time. Amen. Yeah. So <clears throat> look at the good in people and not just the bad. Yeah. And I guarantee you, <laughs> our flesh, <laughs> even mm -hmm. born again believers, we look at the wrong things. Oh. Remember, I told you this morning, look through the eyes of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Look through his love and his yeah. compassion. Yeah. Because if all you see is the fault, there's a problem there. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Because when he sees us, mm -hmm. he sees us winners. He sees us champions. Yeah. He wants us to go and fulfill for him That's and it. do for him. Mm -hmm. So he sees the best in us. Yes. So we need we can see the, the best yes. in others. Amen. Yeah. Even if they done something wrong, you know what? Hey, you did a good job. Thank you so much. But you know, next time, what about doing this? Mm -hmm. What about doing that? We don't have to just slam them with the wrong mm -hmm. every time, you know, and that's yeah. all you see. 99 good things and one bad thing and all you see is the bad. <laughs> Something wrong with that. Yeah. Look at the good and say, man, you did great. That's good. Now, let's do this mm -hmm. and we can correct it this way. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, look at the good in people and not just the bad. Most people do this. <laughs> they look at the worst. So we need to look through mm -hmm. Jesus' eyes with yes. love and his compassion. Like your glasses on. Mr. Mr. Oh yeah, my glasses. I got my Jesus glasses. Those of you who are watching, <laughs> you like my Jesus glasses on. I got my Jesus on. So are you Mr. Perfect or Miss Perfect? Mm -hmm. No. Who put you up in charge? Yeah. <laughs> who made you the judge? Yeah. Remember, we're supposed to forgive and forget. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Perhaps your father is still alive. Mm -hmm. You know what? Praise God and say thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I told my, 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 my dad, 
He's been gone since 80s. <laughs> but I said, Happy Father's Day. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you both for my earthly father. Mm -hmm. In heaven, well, praise God. Still, you can say thank you. Yes. Honor him. No excuses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a command. Yeah. We just have to be obedient. Yeah. It's a command and not a suggestion. You can write that down yourself. God is commanding us. He's not giving us just a suggestion. If you want to, if you feel like it. No. He says, this is a command I'm giving you. And I want you to obey it. Amen. If he's alive, visit him. Call him. Write him. Text him. Yes. Email him. There's so many ways yeah. that you can reach him. Yes. There's so many ways to be in touch with him. No excuses. Love, accept, forgive. Yeah. You can write that down too. Mm. Love, accept, forgive. On a daily basis before you go out the door. Before you go anywhere. Love, accept, forgive. You are going to have the opportunity. Yeah. To love, accept, and forgive. That's it. And the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. All Amen. Things. So, <laughs> I'm going to fix it. Mm. So, listen. Love, accept, forgive, and honor him. Fix any wrongs. Fix the past. Yes. Just say, hey, yeah. past yeah. is gone. Let it go. Yeah. Don't be a prisoner of your past. That's it. Let it go. <laughs> I know you don't like this one. Mm -hmm. No excuses. We have excuses for everything. No, don't you boy. think that Father God has probably yeah. heard every excuse every, there is? Every excuse in the book. <laughs> say, no, I never used that one. <laughs> we just share excuses with one another. Mm -hmm. We need to share the word. Yes. Without excuses. That's it, that's it. <laughs> this morning, let's look at uh, one perfect father. Huh. Our heavenly father. Again, John 3.16. For Father God so loved the world. Yes. Us, people, that he gave his only begotten son. And whoever believeth in him should not perish but have yeah, everlasting life. life. Know that you have an everlasting life with yes, him. Yes. You've received him. Yeah. Amen. And I'm a child of God yeah. going somewhere to happen for somebody. Mm -hmm. Setting somebody free. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Leading somebody to yes. Christ. Yes. Amen. So they can have their Heavenly Father. Yes. <laughs> Honor Heavenly Father daily. Have relationship. Not once in a while. Or on emergencies. Yeah. Or when I feel like it. Or maybe yeah. hey once a year when it's Father's mm -hmm. Day. No, but daily. That's it. Amen. Happy Heavenly Father. Yes. Amen. Honor Him. Give Him thanks. Amen. Show Him appreciation. Yes. Show Him gratitude on a daily yes. basis. Not just once in a while. That's good. But all the time. Yes. God gave us ten commandments, not ten suggestions. Yes. Right. <laughs> That's yeah. good. A command you have to obey once mm -hmm. again. You know, you have to obey. Yeah. The fifth commandment teaches us to honor and respect our father and mother. Amen. And it's number one command with a promise that I want to live long. And if I'm going to live long, mm -hmm. I need to obey this. Amen. Yes. One reason God includes this in our commands, it, it runs against our human nature. Mm -hmm. As humans, we want to do the opposite. Yeah. Amen. Why? Yeah. Well, you haven't renewed your mind with yeah. the word of God. And that flesh is is very very lively yeah. screaming 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 that's right screaming and just want to get even <laughs> you think you can do that wait till i get even with you <laughs> come on now yeah our tendency is to listen fight disrespect mm -hmm. and it happens lots mm -hmm. we want to fight god's authority no yeah i mean there's a whole lot of things mm -hmm. happening right now uh -huh. and there's a it's going to get worse before yeah. it gets better. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it ain't going to get any better. That's it's going it. to get worse. That's it. So, you know, if you want to have peace mm -hmm. and know the, pe the Prince of Peace, <laughs> know, the Prince of peace. know Him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. To know Him is to know the Prince of Peace. Yes. Because if you stay in tune, listen, if you want to stay in tune with the latest news, it's always going to be doom and gloom. It's oh, always yeah. going to be bad. Yeah, yeah. And don't be one, you know, that just bringing the bad news to right, everywhere right. you go. Mm -hmm. Why don't you bring the good news everywhere news. you go? That's it. Amen. You know, you always know somebody that's bringing you something, the bad news. Yeah. How come you always know these things? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know, I turn my TV off. I turn the radios off. I turn all the negative things off. 
Mm -hmm. But you always have somebody hanging around you that wants to give you the oh, negative Jesus. stuff. You know, say, hey, All the I don't want to hear that. You know, mm -hmm. and I don't receive it anyway. Amen. I just turn it around and says, you know what? I know the good news. I know the one, mm -hmm. the Prince of Peace. Yes. I know my Heavenly Father. And this is what he says. And this is what you need. You need good news, not bad yeah. news. Amen. So we want to fight God, God's authority. Yeah. It's going to get worse before it gets oh, better. Yeah. You might as well know now. So you can receive him now and quit living in the bad. Yeah. In the negative. Amen. Yeah. And quit fighting it. <laughs> wow. Be smart. Know that you can do better. <laughs> Amen. We want to fight parents' authority. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my parents God. love me so much that they hands on me. Every time they get a chance. <laughs> I gave them opportunities, you know? <laughs> Not again. Not otra, otra vez. Otra vez. And mom says, man, that's you all the time. Otra vez. Golly. Man, she dusts me off more than a dirty rag, man. And she loved me. Oh, they love me so much. <laughs> and every time she whooped me, she, uh, she told me, I love you. I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want to fight all authorities. Yeah. We want to fight the government. We want to fight uh, those at work. We want to fight yeah. in the school. We want to fight police. <laughs> and we want to fight at church. Oh. I hate my pastor. You know what? I may be going to church there, but I don't receive my pastor. The Bible says, God placed me here mm -hmm. as a gift. You have to receive me mm -hmm. if you want to receive the message if you want to receive me as your pastor yes, you know yeah. some people some people won't do that yeah yeah we just come to church because they think they're coming to church is going to save them mm -hmm. listen church can't save you yeah. pastor can't save you right. nobody can save you mm -hmm. government this world can't save you yeah. only thing that can save you is jesus that's it that's the only thing that can save you. And you need to confess him yes. as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. So, <laughs> I just make sure you hear this, okay? <laughs> you heard it here. You heard it only here. Jesus can save you. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. <coughs> we want to be free. Mm. You know, when they brought Jesus before uh, the king there, <laughs> he said, well, well, you know, hey, listen, I just want to wash my hands, clean my of this. Who do you want me to release? Jesus or Barabbas? Mm -hmm. Oh, Barabbas. Mm -hmm. I mean, they was picking the wrong since way yes, back. They you know? oh, At least, oh, gosh. That's what the world does, you know? They pick the wrong instead of the good. Yes. And they're still doing it. Yep. Say, we used to say that in the 70s. Hey, man, that's bad. Hey, bad, man. That's bad. You mean, say, say, saying that's good, and you say, man, that's bad. Hmm. It's going around and saying, yeah, it's bad. It's not good. It's not a for God. But they... Release Barabbas instead of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We want to do our own thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of prodigal sons out there and daughters. Yes. Mm -hmm. We want to do our own thing. Mm -hmm. Mom, Dad, you can't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. I want to do my own thing. All right. You know, that's why we start training our children the way they should mm -hmm. go. Yeah. Way yeah. back since they were small. Yes. <laughs> Not when they're 15 or 20 years oh, old. Oh gosh. I say forget it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well set on their ways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Then you want to kill them. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> we must learn to be uh, obedient. Yes. Obey, commit, submit. Yes. To him. Lord. Amen. Man, that's good. Man, Pastor, that's you're really it. preaching good, Pastor. Yeah, you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Proverbs 22 and 6. Here we go again. Mm -hmm. Train up a child, mother and father, mm -hmm. the way they should go. Mm -hmm. Hey. I'm going to tell you the right way to do. I'm going to tell you the right way to go. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get an age of accountability, when you get an age of, uh, of yourself, mm -hmm. and you let the world in, if you don't start keep doing these things, you're going to go wrong because you let the world in, mm -hmm. and you're going to start living for the world, doing what the world says, and all these other things. Yeah, yeah. When you have a relationship, you start doing what the Word of God tells yeah, you yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? And don't listen to all this other stuff. That's it. Amen? Renew your mind with the yes. Word of God so you won't fall into those things. That's it. Amen. So train them the way they should go. And once again, I say it, it's, it's not just going to be the babysitter, the school, the world, or whatever. 
Amen. That's why so many gangs out there. Because they show more love in a gang than they do at home. We got to be careful. I'm going to teach you the right way to go. I'm going to teach you what the Word of God says. Yes. Amen. Praise God. So praise God. So many fathers have celebrated Father's Day. Mm. But guess what? This might be your first. So congratulations. <laughs> congratulations to all fathers. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Happy Father's Day. Father's Day, we focus on the good qualities, the good memories, and forget the past. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Woo. Listen to this. I want to. We're not going to hold you long. I just want to read this to you so you know. <laughs> when you're a biological father or mother, whether you're a stepfather or a stepmother, whether you're an adopted father or mother, you're still a father yes. yeah. and a mother. Yeah. Be the best father and mother you can be. Yeah. God has placed these children in your care. Yes, he has. Take ownership. I read too many stories of children getting killed. You know, hey, the child died, left them in, in the car, 100 plus degrees temperature in there. Well, I forgot the baby was there. Is there really so? Or you know, hey, I read of people going up, up across to Mexico to go have uh, a good time and left the kids locked up at home. Yeah. No. Children receive and accept your fathers also. Children have to do this. Listen to this. Joseph was a stepfather uh -huh. of Jesus. But he received Jesus as his own. Yes, yes. He did. Amen. You know, we're, we're, we're God's stepchildren. But he doesn't call us stepchildren. Yes, he Amen. I mean, the Jewish were his people. Yes. And we were the Gentiles. <laughs> And we got adopted into God's family. Mm -hmm. So, praise God. He's our Heavenly Father. Amen. But He doesn't call us stepchildren. That's it. He calls us His children. Amen. Amen. Praise so you God. can take the step out of there. You know, <laughs> listen to this. God chose Joseph to be the <coughs> earthly father for yes. Jesus. Yes. The Gospel of Matthew says Joseph was a righteous man. Yes. His actions towards Mary, his fiance, revealed that he was a kind and sensitive man. Yes. When Mary told him a child was not his own, mm. excuse me, when Mary told Joseph she was pregnant, mm. he had every right to feel disgrace. He knew the child was not his own. Mm -hmm. And Mary's apparent unfaithful carried a grave stigma. Mm -hmm. Joseph not only had the right to divorce Mary, under Jewish laws, she could have been put yeah. to death yeah. by stoning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Yeah. All the, although Joseph's initial reaction was to break the engagement, the appropriate thing for a righteous man to do, mm -hmm. he treated Mary with extreme kindness. Yes. He did not want to cause her further shame. So he decided to quietly, to act quietly. But God sent an angel to Joseph mm -hmm. to verify Mary's story and assure him that his marriage to, was God's will. Yes. yes. Amen. That was Amen. God's will. He sent an angel mm -hmm. to reassure this to him. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. He could have said no. How many fathers did he go through before Joseph accepted mm -hmm. this? <laughs> Yeah. Joseph willingly obeyed God in spite of the public humiliation he must face. And believe me, you know somebody like this. Mm. They know everything about you. Oh, oh, yeah. Or they know everything about somebody else. No. And they come and tell you about everybody else. No. And guess what? When they leave you, mm. they go tell them about you. <laughs> well, we all know somebody like this. Yeah. <laughs> and they always know everything. Except the word of God. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps this noble quality made him God's cho choice mm. for the Messiah, earthly father. Maybe this is what decided for him to be Jesus' yeah. father, the yeah. Messiah. Amen. Earthly father. Yeah. So praise God. Isn't it awesome? Yes. 
Amen. You know, some of us, we just need to be obedient. Yeah. And be who he's called us to be. Yes, Don't try to copy somebody else. Right. Just have relationship. Know him. Mm -hmm. And know what he wants you to do. Amen. Be busy about the Father's business. Amen. And not everybody else's business. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I just want to read you a few of these and then we'll, we're done. Our perfect uh, Father, our Heavenly Father, Fathers, be more like him and put him, put all hopes in him. He's the best father. Imitate him. In Ephesians, if you look these in Ephesians, in Ephesians uh, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2, says, Therefore be imitators of God as dear yeah. children, and walk in love as Christ also loved us yes. and has given himself for us, Amen. an offering and sacrifice to yes. God for a sweet-smelling aroma. Yes. Let's go here. Let's open our Bibles. Might as well have church. If we're going to have church, let's open our Bibles. Ephesians 5. Ephesians chapter, yeah, 5. Okay. I'll uh, be right with you. Ephesians 5. Uh, uh -huh. Chapter 5. Mm -hmm. Okay, I found it. <laughs> Now the King James says, But ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also loved us, mm -hmm. and hath given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice mm -hmm. to God for a sweet smell and savor. Amen. Now, the Amplified, if you don't have the Amplified, mm -hmm. okay, I always remind you, check different translations. The Amplified says this, Therefore, be imitators of God. Yes. Amen. Copy Him. Follow His examples. Yes. For example, as well beloved children imitate their father. Okay? So sometimes, yeah. I've heard people say this, even in my family. Hmm. Hey, this is the way God made me, and this is the way it's going to be. <laughs> this, is, this is it. I can't oh. change myself. Hmm. Yes, you can. You know what you're telling me? You're telling me you don't know what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. It tells me that you have been in the Word right. of God. It. it tells me that you don't have a relationship with your Heavenly Father. That's what it's telling me. Mm -hmm. Because if you're reading what the Word of God says, it says, imitators of God. Be an imitator of God. Uh -huh. Amen. Copy Him. Follow His example as well-beloved children imitate their fathers. It tells you right then. You don't go and uh, copy the world. You copy your Heavenly Father. Amen. And do what He does. Amen. Yes. And there's no bad in God. That's it. Amen. Only good. So Amen. He's our greatest example. Yes, Amen. Sir. So let me read it the way I have it here. It says, Be imitators of God, therefore become imitators of of God, copy him and follow his example. As well beloved children, imitate their fathers. You know, so as a father, once again, Proverbs 22, 6, mm -hmm. says train your children the way they should go. Yeah. So be a good uh, leader, be a good uh, uh, father Amen. to them. And they're gonna see this and they're gonna yes. be like, wanna be like father. Yeah. They wanna be like mom. Yeah. Amen? Because you're teaching them the right way to go. And walk continually in love that is value uh, one another practice empathy empathy empathy, empathy mm -hmm. and compassion unselfishly seeking the best for others just as Christ so loved us and gave himself up for us Thank you. and offering the sacrifice of God to God slain for us for you mm -hmm. so that it became a sweet fragrance amen yes. so remember to celebrate and honor your Heavenly Father Amen. daily. Not just once in a while. Amen. So I'm going to leave you with that. And I want you to remember this. So his Father has expectations for His children. Yes. John 3.16, our text says, is God's plan of salvation. John 3.16. It shows us that He did for what He did for us. He gave us His Son so that we could be saved. And it shows us what he expects from us. Amen. So that whoever believes in him should not perish. We have a role to play in our yes. salvation. God expects us to be.
to believe in him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. He doesn't expect Amen. more than we can give. That's it. But he does expect us mm -hmm. to do what we can. Well, we and the can. Bible says in Philippians 4.13 mm -hmm. that I can do all things through Christ Amen. who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. So don't make excuses. That's it. Amen. Make yourself available yes. and he'll use you. Amen. Yes, so let's remember to honor our Heavenly Father daily. Amen. Yes. Honor him daily and give him thanks. You know, and if your earthly father is still alive, Bible says, honor him. Mm -hmm. Your mother. Honor her. Honor her. Because it is a command and not a suggestion. Yes. Amen. So Father, we just thank you for the opportunity yes. to hear your word. Mm -hmm. And be hearers and doers of your word, Father. And we just thank you, Lord, for all our fathers. Amen. Bless them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Father. Amen. That we are about the Father's business. Doing, Father God, what you've called us to do. So we just honor you, our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. If, uh, if you never accept me, you know, before we close... If you never accept him as your Lord and Savior, if you never accept him as your Heavenly Father, now's the time. It's never too late. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. And that's all it takes, you know, for you to change and come and live for him and do for him. Amen. Because he's called you and he's anointed you and he's given you gifts to do for him. And everything that you need to do. He is already in you. Know, and all you need to do is, is know Him and recognize Him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. So praise God. If you have a, uh, a sickness in your body, it shouldn't be there. Because Amen. the Bible says that we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Any malfunctions in this body, we command it to go. Every spirit of infirmity, we command Amen. it to go in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you, Father, that we receive uh, by Jesus' stripes. We are healed. From our crown of our head to the soles of our feet, oh, right. we receive no malfunctions in our body. Mm -hmm. And we just call it will, we call it heal. So body, receive your healing now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You, if you've never given, if you uh, receive this message <laughs> and you've never given, now it's time to give. Amen. Amen. So praise God. If you're watching or listening, just go to our website, NBC Big Ben. Dot com. It's on the screen right there. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. We want to let you know God loves you and we love you. And we want to say Happy Father's Day. God bless. Bye-bye.